Alrighty YouTube, another one of Kip's Clips. So just a shout out about the, tonight's radio show. Um, what's going to be going on tonight? Well, trying to get hold of Nick Stop the Rock. He has been staying at Barton Moss in the thick of things. Uh, it's been hard to communicate with him because he's staying in the middle of a field. Um, I've had very little to no contact, a few text messages I think I get when he rubs some sticks together to charge up his mobile phone and a few smoke signals and stuff, but <coughs> hopefully, fingers crossed, if he can collect enough uh, cow farts to power his generator, get a charge in, whatever he needs to get a Skype connection, hopefully we might be getting him. Um, also trying to get a hold of Dom, um, we sent something very, 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 very interesting the other day, so we're going to speak about this tonight. A uh, couple of weeks ago now, we Dom, we touched on the coming anarchy that was going to be brought to the streets, an excuse to take little rights that are left and to uh, clamp down on the ability to peacefully fight back um, with counterproductive ways of trying to fight back. Whether it's my misguidance, they're getting misled by someone, some way, or, um, I mean, I think sometimes some of these people just end up in that position through no fault of their own other than social conditioning, which happens through the social engineering. Um, so, yeah, that's why I find it hard to condemn anybody, no matter how moronic their approach is. So, going to be touching on that as well, the controlled revolution. It looks like the English Fallen, English fallen Tear Force. It's getting mentioned there in a lot with the EDL, where they one and the same thing, different. I don't really know the politics. I, I know the BMP, EDL and SDL and EDF. That's the ones I know. Um, also, I want to touch on the people's voice. See what people are thinking about it. Again, it's, I see it as something good for people who want it. Um, but ultimately, that's what I see it as, but then in a step away from that, I see it just dividing and getting more people bitching and moaning at each other. Um, Dom came up with an idea of starting up a People's Voice, see what could get done without any uh, donations, which I think is a great idea. Um, I mean, that is an idea and a concept, it's worth a try alone. If, you can, if people get spare time and effort, you can donate that rather than people who have got spare time and effort, no spare money. Um, but there's little I can control, contribute, but anyway. So hopefully if we get a hold of Dom, speak about that. If not, we can speak about it ourselves. I've got a few thoughts and feelings on it, man. I think if you want it, it's there going, like Alex Jones. Um, it's there if you want it, go and use it. Just don't get stuck in the cult of personality. That be your one-stop shop, and then you end up buying your tangy tangerine from there. That's where the problem lies. But ultimately, man, each to their own. Batter in if you want. It's up to yourself. Um, hopefully, we'll get Martin and Days on as usual. Uh, hopefully, Kev saying he's no turn. Kev, Kev saying he might be turning up late. Hopefully not. Hopefully, he'll be on time. But we'll wait, we'll wait and see. Uh, so we've got Nick as well for Barton Moss. They've seen a UFO during the week. So we'll be speaking about that as well. And uh, I, and Snowden as well. Snowden came out with maybe the first bit of real information talking about the the first genuine stuff. The, 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 this information, NSA information, has been used for industrial espionage. Okay, first bit of information, arguably, real information. <gasps> the NSA bug your phone! Or the NSA would stick something up your arse and backwire it 20 years ago if they know they could snoop on you. Oh, wow, we Revelation after revelation brought to you by Snowdon. Snowdon. Uh, aye, so, that's about it. Oh, aye, wait, that's about it. What am I talking about? I want to hit home what's happening here as well. Stuff going on in Turkey that's only recently, I've only recently started to look into. I don't fully understand, so it's always good to put the feelers out there and get some feedback. 
get to know the lay of the land, um, look for some input to find out what's going on. Maybe even touch a wee bit on Santos Bonacci's predicament. That's be very, very interesting to see how this pans out and whether he ends up having to pay the fines or will he serve time in jail or will he, will he pay the fines or will he usurp the system? Very interesting. I've even heard him getting stick because of his technique and stuff. Right, fair dues, man, right? But this is that, and, and I understand that everybody's always their own. But what I've noticed as well, especially, not by not by everybody, but it exists out there, these people who think they've got a monopoly on being the best and brightest and the furthest and the fur And they may may be right, but there's lots of different approaches. But, oh, you know, he's a gatekeeper, he's doing... Everybody's got a different, a different approach, different folks think it's about trial and error. Right, maybe some of them are trying to mislead us, maybe some of them aren't, right? From what I, can, I don't think Santos been actually trying to read anybody astray. Whether these approach is wrong, right, misguided, he's doing this wrong, doing that wrong, because there's lots of debate about there. He's having a, this debate in the public eye, which is doing more good than a lot of people. Rather than, uh, but stirring good debate, man, and I think that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Um, what else has been happening recently? Uh, well, we'll, that'll go on to the World War Three theme, like Israel now pointing at Turkey. You, you, Turkey, you're bad, you've got Al-Qaeda bases in there. Yeah, the CIA ones have been training Al-Qaeda, Al-Nusra, ISS, uh, for ages and sending them into Syria to destabilise it, yes. Um, Russia, uh, start, oh, it's, it's, the, 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 it's like, um, it's a treaty, it's a nuclear treaty. I know the abbreviation for it, but I forgot because I looked at it earlier, but it's about um, like this, this strategic rundown of nuclear weapons or something. I've obviously not got the abbreviation right, but that's what it's about. It's about America and the uh, US having a treaty, or NATO, having a treaty about running down uh, their tactical nuclear missile arsenal. So Russia are threatening to back out of that now that Russia, uh, Hegel was in Poland the other day, um, talking about more missiles in Poland, missile defence in Poland, and another three ships are on the way. Um, anti-missile uh, ships are on the way to a port in Spain. I believe it to be in the Mediterranean side of Spain, but I didn't check that before opening my mouth. But the, I would believe it to be. I, I, I haven't heard. I heard the name of the place, but it didn't ring a bell. Um... I so that's about a pretty good summary of what we can be talking about. So you need to bounce over at Truth Frequency Radio. Get yourselves in the chat room as well. Um, we try and monitor as much as as we can, but it's very very hard. Uh, and let's let's say no to twat. Let's stop the twat. The war against terror. Let's stop the twat. We need to stop the twat, right? Because the twat is fake. It's a fake twat! Um, so get yourselves over to uh, truthfrequencyradio.com and go and check out the archives of Gun. Get yourself over on my channel. Get all the Facebooks and Twitters and all that. Um, stay ahead of the curve, alright? So uh, thumbs it up, share it. Anybody you think will be interested in what we're talking about tonight? I mean, what haven't we got? Snowjob, the people's voice. Um, <laughs> have we got a caliphate brewing in Turkey with the Gulen movement? Looks like it's got similarities to common purpose. The people that believe in the New World Order would um, understand the, the, the philosophy behind the incremental steps in the sense of regionalising it. The EU, the United States, the, like, North America Union or whatever that was called, I can't remember that now, but so on and so forth. So it's one of them, maybe the new caliphate coming from Turkey. Turkey would get all, get, get the, the green light, the go-ahead for this, the power base for this, because it's, look at where it is. Um, the pipelines and so on and so forth. Uh, so we'll talk about the people's voice, maybe Apostle Caliphate, World War Three looks like in progress. China and Japan, again, still walking horns over that. I mean, 
What is it going to take for people to understand that there is a war happening here, that there is a line drawn in the sand, and you can clearly see what's happening, but who am I to disagree with the BBC? The BBC only tell you that... The BBC tell you in Ukraine there is not a civil war. Um, there's not a civil war. The army's just side, sitting on the sidelines, and it looks to me like that place is tearing itself in two. Well, it's a civil war to me, just without an army involved. Um, and then we can talk about the the, 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 the EDL, the this stuff here. Now, the scary thing is, I can back and remember this e Eva Silva, and there's the group, this group here. I'm pretty sure I was in that group. I don't know if I still am. Uh, no, no, no. Let me check if I'm still in that. Because, pe like, do people not understand, like, being in the group on Facebook is an evidence of anything? People can add you without your knowledge to any group. Well, I don't know, somehow I keep getting added to fucking hundreds of groups without my knowledge. And I don't really know. Is that it? No, that's not it. I was definitely, maybe the group's been shut down or something, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure I was in that. Or I came across it or something. I can definitely remember her avatar anyway. That's how I... I tend to remember people's avatars. More than their names and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way my head... Right, so we're going to go into all this. I need to go through it with a fine-tooth comb as well. We'll obviously get all the links out in the show and stuff. Um, but uh, aye, that's what we'll be going over on tonight's show. So anybody you think will be interested in this, share it about 6 to 8 p.m. UK time. Stick it in your smartphones or whatever to figure it out in America and whatnot because you're bigger and better than me. And I've got better things to do in my time. Um, <laughs> so uh, thumbs it up, share it about. Leave any comments about anything you want. Um, leave any comments. I might pick them up before the show kicks off about what you want to see in the show tonight as well. Always good to get feedback. If we remember, we'll give out the phone number. Anybody wants to phone in, that would be even better. We've never took a phone call. Can somebody want to be Gunn's first phone caller? Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, YouTube, thanks for listening. Catchies.